in this video we will go over the candidate interface on hacker earth assessments first the candidate will receive an email from hacker earth which will contain the test link through which the test can be accessed upon clicking the link the platform checks the candidate system for compatibility issues then the candidate can read the test instructions see how many questions are there in the test what programming languages are permitted and also find out who the point of contact is in case of any queries once the terms and conditions are agreed to the candidate can enter the test the next step is to provide the information that has been requested by the organization and hit submit to move to the next section where instructions are shared with regard to the questions and the proctoring settings for example in this particular test copy paste has been disabled for compilation and there is a set timer for reading the instructions once the timer is over the candidate can click on start test on the testing interface you can see the number of questions read the entire problem statement the sample inputs and outputs and permitted programming languages the candidate can select the programming language in which they want to type their code candidates can also provide custom inputs of their own compile and test to see what output is generated if there is a compilation error the candidate can make edits and compile it again in case the code is ready they can hit the submit button Once the code is submitted the hacker earth engine will evaluate the code against the test cases here the candidate can see how many test cases have been accepted and how many are rejected so if they want to make a modification to the code they can do just that and resubmit candidates can also see how many submissions were made along with the results for each submission In case a candidate is not sure about something they can always see the test instructions they can also go to the judge environment section to see how the judging process happens or go to the question instruction section to read any question specific instruction candidates also have the option to reach out to support they can simply write their query and an email will be sent to the support team After the test candidates are asked to rate their experience this feedback is also not mandatory and can be skipped 